In our world, there is so much sorrow, misery, and sadness. We see indicators all around us that reveal to us that most people are looking for something, anything, that can bring them true joy. In this study on joy, Scott Pauley will take us to God's Word and help us discover the source of true, lasting joy. And as we study the Bible together, we will find that God's joy is readily available to us through His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Today we turn our attention from the Psalms to the Proverbs. They follow in that same order in our Old Testament Scripture, and someone has suggested that you move from the holy place, place of worship, and intimacy with God, prayer closet, if you will, into everyday life. The Psalms you find the Christian on his knees, but in Proverbs, you find the Christian on his feet. Once we learn to walk with God every day, then that has to be worked out in everyday life. And so Proverbs really deals with every aspect of everyday life. It is an intensely practical book. It's also a book that references joy. And I want to bring you to one of those today in two different references. Proverbs chapter 12 and verse number 20 and Proverbs chapter 15 and verse number 23. Now, you remember that most of the Proverbs are standalone, short, succinct sayings. They are sentence sermons. Uh, perhaps some of our congregations would like to hear one of those every now and then, just a sentence sermon. A lot of truth can be packed into a very few words. Uh, but these two verses you should connect in your Bible and in your thinking. Proverbs chapter 12 and verse number 20 says this, Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. To the counselors of peace is joy. Now connect that to Proverbs chapter 15 and verse number 23. A man hath joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoken in due season, how good is it? If you're looking at your Bible, Proverbs chapter 15, verse number 23, you'll see there's actually an exclamation point at the end of that verse. This is something that stirred the heart of the man writing it and should thrill our hearts. What is this joy? This is the joy of sharing Jesus. This is the joy of speaking God's truth into the lives of other people. Now, I want to tell you, I believe this follows the discovery of that joy in our own life. So the words we share are not our words. The truth we give is not our truth. It's God's word and it's God's truth. So you've got to discover it. You've got to make it your own if you're going to pass it on to someone else. But once you have found the good news of sins forgiven, once you've found the, the open secret to peace with God, once the truth of Scripture has come alive to you, don't keep it to yourself. Pass it on. And as you do, not only will God work on the other end, God will work in your heart. That's the beautiful thing. When you share truth, both the, the carrier and the recipient are the beneficiaries. Uh, both the person speaking the truth and the person hearing the truth are being blessed. Why? Because the blessing is connected to the word of the living God. Let me give you two or three thoughts. First of all, there is the joy of sharing truth and peace. Did you hear in Proverbs chapter 12 the great contrast? This is one of the methods that is often employed in the Proverbs. Uh, listen to the verse again, Proverbs chapter number 12 and verse number 20. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. But what is the opposite of Deceit, peace. As we would say, well, the opposite of, of deceit is truth. That's right. Uh, but what does truth bring? Peace. Uh, do you see the great contrast here? We're not speaking deceit. We're speaking the truth. We're not imagining evil. We're sharing good. Uh, we are not giving something that brings conflict. We're giving something that brings people to peace with God. So uh, the first great joy is the joy of sharing a message with people that will bring them God's truth and, as a result, God's peace. The word gospel means good news, and 
in a world filled with bad news? Aren't we inundated with it on every hand? We get sick of hearing it. People wonder, I think, sometimes, is there any good news? Oh, yes. There is a great deal of good news, but it is found in the eternal word of the living God. The good news is found in Jesus. So the joy of sharing Jesus is the joy of sharing his truth and his peace. And the second thing I would point out to you is not only the joy of sharing truth and peace, but the joy of sharing a word at the right time. Now, this is very important in your, in your witnessing. This is very important in sharing your faith. You can't witness to the wrong person. There's never a bad time to share Christ. But I would point out to you that there are moments where God gives you a little window, an opportunity, a divine appointment. Uh, you, you have an assignment from God. Don't miss that. Uh, listen to Proverbs chapter 15 and verse number 23 again. A man hath joy by the answer of his mouth and a word spoken in due season. How good is it? Uh, life is full of seasons. There's seasons for everything. And there are seasons where God will give you an opportunity to speak a word at, we might use this expression, just the right time. Well, God's time is always the right time. So there's joy in what we say. There's also joy in when God has us say it. Because our God is a God of perfect timing. And one of the things you should pray for those that you're going to meet today, and one of the things you should pray for those you're burdened for, is that God will give you the right moment. Uh, the due season, the opportunity to have a conversation, uh, to share something meaningful about the Lord Jesus. I would point out to you that it's not always a long conversation that brings the greatest good. In fact, sometimes it is the simple planting of a gospel seed. It is a brief word, a joyful uh, testimony about the goodness of God that begins to work in a person's heart. Only, Only the Lord can turn someone from darkness to light. Only God can save, uh, but we can share him and we can speak truth and peace in due season. And then finally, there is not only the joy of sharing truth and peace and the joy of sharing a word at the right time, but there's the joy of sharing Jesus with those who need to hear. Did you notice both of these verses have something in common? Besides the fact they both are about joy and they both are about speaking uh, God's word to others, uh, the, the person that is, I think, often neglected is who we are speaking to. Yes, we're the witness. We are the people who are sharing the truth. But to whom are we speaking? Uh, listen to Proverbs chapter 12 and verse number 20 again. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. Well, the fact that we are counselors implies we are counseling someone. Are you a counselor today? You may say, well, I don't have a degree in it. I'm not a professional counselor. No, no. We're talking about the counselors of peace. Those are gospel witnesses. And that's something all of us can be. And then in Proverbs 15, verse 23, a man hath joy by the answer of his mouth. Well, why would he need to give an answer? Because someone has asked a question. It's reminiscent of what Peter wrote in his letter in the New Testament, that we're to sanctify the Lord God in our hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. The joy is not winning the debate. The joy is not being a good speaker. The joy is not even found in their response. The joy is that we are sharing the truth and peace of Jesus Christ at every season that God gives us with as many people as will listen to us, and then we let the Lord do the rest. It is my prayer today that you will know the joy of sharing Jesus and that the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Oh, that we would share Christ with our sad, searching world. We encourage you to visit our YouTube channel and search for How to Enjoy the Journey. This five-minute video is a great way to share the gospel of Christ with your family and friends and also on your social media platforms. We also have a wide variety of resources that will equip you to share your faith, from free articles and blogs to our store where you can order personalized Enjoying the Journey gospel brochures in both English and Spanish. 
May the joy of Jesus overflow in our own life and into the lives of those around us. Thank you.